Welcome to another episode of Not For The Weak Minded. This one is going to be a hard episode for a lot of people because the things I'm going to show you are real. So, patent number US2009006267777. Created 2006. Method of recording and saving of human soul for human immortality and installation for it. Now I'll leave all the links in the description. But, you know, the claims. A method of writing and saving of human soul for man immortality comprising of steps. Position of a micro video camera man head. Position of portable recorder at man body. Position of Portable memory at said man body, position of microphone at said man body, position of portable computer at said man body, position of a portable power source at said man's body, connecting said micro video camera, said microphone to said microphone micro computer, said portable recorder, said power source and said portable memory, programming said computer for writing needed data from said micro video camera, microphone whereby said portable recorder to said Portable memory, what a mouthful, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. Never patent. Two thousand and one, two thousand and two, mind personality transfer method, and you into the details. I'm going to read the first couple. This invention transfers minds and personalities of individuals and clone bodies of creatures to clone body to cr to new clone bodies, and thus I can make creatures continue development permanently with ensure creatures' existence bases on themselves. Oh wow, wow wow wow! Clone Wars, ladies and gentlemen, we will be talking about that in detail what it really means for humanity and the, and the future of the light inside us and the things we have to fight against so United Nations clones have human rights too she found some full blown human cloning is inevitable unless the world unites to ban it. So if we don't, we should be ready to treat clones as our equals, says a new report from the United Nations. Right? United Nations did a, um, a report yesterday saying if we don't follow their method, in five years everything's going to be destroyed. We're going to complete collapse of everything. So they're like, these, this group is trying to save the world. Just as corrupted, I'm afraid. Just stop the geoengineering. You know, stop weather modification. Stop poisoning us. That was, that, that's a good start. So. The United Nations was talking obviously believes cloning is real if then and otherwise they won't be writing that article right <clears throat> excuse me so this is on can you stand the truth.com scientists are trying to clone Jesus Christ from DNA now this goes into a massive debate about the Shroud of Turin. We are going to talk about this as well because it's important. It's part of the deception and it's part of understanding the technologies and the devices of Satan. They are trying they are replicating us. In order for their soul not to be judged by God, right? So they can live forever. 
this is what I'm trying to say to you. This goes way beyond our skin. It's it's using the material to go against creation. Well, you know, look at the world we live in. These people are just horrendous. So there's art. There's articles about this, and I will link all these in the description, so you can take your time and read them at your own discretion, if you choose. Must read, Cloning the Man on the Shroud of Turin. 2012. So where does this idea come from? Well, let's go to Wikipedia a minute. Have, uh, have any of you heard of this before? The books? Have you read the books? If you have, please let me know in the comments section. Let me know how the, what the books are like. Or, you know, how close are they to what is really going on today? So the Christ Clone Trilogy, the science fiction trilogy by the American novelist James Brule Signer, dealing with the end of the world by presenting a fictionalised version of Christian... Escaphology. His writings is compared to much more name recognised contemporaries such as Tom Clancy for its attention to detail. The series has also been compared to the better known Left Behind series of novels as both deal with the concepts of the Rapture, Antichrist and the Second Coming of Jesus. So the plot. Trilogy starts with In His Image where living human cells discovered on the Turin Shroud, listen, are used to clone a child, Christopher Goodman. Of course, it's the opposite. He's going to be a bad good man. Christ Goodman. The book following Goodman's story by telling the tale of Decker Hawthorne, a journalist and the main character of the series. Among the main events covered in the, this book, or the creation of Christopher, the rapture, and Christopher's progress to becoming a key figure in the United Nations. Right. So I've just showed you articles that they're talking about taking the Shroud of Turin, okay, and taking the DNA from it, extracted DNA using bloodstained threads to clone Jesus. Because people, millions of people around the world, believe the Shroud of Turin is that that laid upon Jesus, right? And if they believe that, then they, they must believe that it, he was in the 15th century, right? And therefore, that historically changes everything about Rome, about what we've been told. So you can't have it one way or the other with this bloody artifact. And in all sense of purposes, from what I've looked at over the years about, and what's come out about it, from the studies, countless studies of this artifact, is that it is a genuine cloth from the time period of 1500, whatever, the 1500s. It says it is. However, the method of actually imprinting this person on the cloth can only be done using electricity. And they're never going to admit it. They have admitted it, and I, I have to show you the the evidence for it as everything else I try and say but it's out there it's there to be seen so this cloning trilogy just like a lot of other things like 1984 Orwell's 1984 and you know um, a brave new world Huxley's brave new world there are many books that show us their intentions what's going to happen what is happening around us today so, Donald Marshall. Have you heard that name before? This is a clone. I'm going to put it full screen so you can see a bit clearer his face. Come on. Right. I'm not going to play the interviews, but. Listen to what he has to say. 
he is a clone himself and he has had multiple soul transfers. He says himself, so David Marshall himself says that he is a clone of Jesus, right? From the Shroud of Turin and that the elites want him to play a part in the upcoming events, right? This is, comes from his own mouth. It's not in this particular video. However, there are four or five different videos out there and one interview or watched has been transcripted. But just look at his face and I'll show you next. Look, his chin is not human. Look, the cheekbones go down to here and his chin. This guy says that he doesn't, he's not a clone. Right? In his interview. He said, I'm not a clone, but I'm talking about cloning. But his face says he's a clone. Do you understand? He is a clone. Look at the chin. That's not a male face. That's a, that is cologne. So when we look back at history, things like Akhenaten, maybe we are dealing with perspectives of, of cloning. Human cloning. Or genetic modification technologies this is the mo this is kind of a point where i'm trying to make people understand is we ourselves humanity are advanced technological beings we were created and we and they are trying to emulate it right and they can only emulate it they cannot create they can take from creation and emulate it manipulate it but they can never create and this is this this is the this is what they create this man, Donald Marshall, please, I recommend listening to what he has to say about the celebrity human cloning centers because I've show, I've tried to show you already in my other videos how once good people, perhaps good people or not, right, in high places, you know, for example, Katie Hopkins, yeah, are now not the same people. They're clones with demons inside them. And this goes back to soul transfer. This is understanding how technologies and, and humanity go hand in hand in a way. Because we are machines ourselves. We are artificial intelligence in a way. Right? That's what they're using to emulate us. So, moving on. I would please, I recommend listening to as much stuff as you can about David Marshall. Do not trust everything you hear. Please. Do, you know do your own d diligent research but he speaks a lot of truth and yet as I said in in his interview so in the transcripts oh it's next one apologies so in this one you'll get the whole interview and it basically it's not spoken but in this case it's talking up in this bit he's talking about Prince Charles and during this interview, um, I saw with him, it's this, this is the transcript of the interview. I cannot find it anywhere. It's been deleted from a Plain Truth channel, right? It was where I saw it, which is this transcript, but in him talking it, right? So I actually watched the whole thing from start to finish of, of this whole transcript, talk, you know, and... It, it just blew my mind how the synchronicity of things work because not a day before that I watched a hacking the headlines um, video and she started talking about the potentially what would happen if we would clone Jesus right and of course this goes into the biblical narrative because we shouldn't worship engraved any engraving image right of the Lord and yet today you've got pictures of, or images, let's say, of or an idea of what this person's meant to be, right? Which is part of the deception. Can you not see? This person says it himself. Came out of the clone's mouth itself. David Marshall's mouth. So yeah, Prince Charles of Wales is a ringleader of the Illuminati. He is a prime evil Illuminati member. Prince Charles is among one of the worst Illuminati members who attends the cloning centers as a REM-driven cl 
clone version of himself and he is an unbelievable depraved pervert. Now many of you probably have done a lot of research into facial recognition. Unders not as in what they've got, as in under what we can see with our eyes looking back through time of photographs of celebrities and how they've changed. Right? Prince Philip, sorry, Prince Charles, is no different. Today, He, there is clone doubles of him. You know that clones of, uh, body doubles at least, have been used for history. So now clones are being used. But also these clones have got demons inside them because the gates of hell have been opened. Not only that, but they plan to completely destroy the earth with their new particle accelerator, which is four times the size of CERN in America. It's got to be destroyed. Cannot be built and and it will. It will cause everything to, to, to be destroyed. Everything. I mean, our entire existence, I mean, literally. It's got the capability of creating a black hole. So where am I? So yeah, this should this character. I highly recommend watching the videos, researching David Marshall on the celebrity cloning centers. Moving on. So this guy here. Sorry, I'm going to go back one more. I'm trying to piece it together for you to make it easier. I've just showed you that there's a book about the Christ clone trilogy and about they want to use the Shroud of Turin. I've showed you an article which says that they're going to use, they've used the DNA from the Shroud of Turin. Now I'm going to show you articles about the Shroud of Turin, right? To say that it might not even be the blood of Christ, right? Does that and how this person here is gonna surprise everyone by saying that he's Christ yeah which is what the what the Pope right it's what he said out of his own mouth and again you have to listen to the videos and do your own research and and the sermon wants him to fulfill prophecy it's exact words Jesus clone Deception. Shouldn't worship engraving images. And at points, this person, you may not think it, at, at points, he really did look like what we would perceive it to be. So don't be deceived, is what I'm saying. I'm, you know, share this information because it's important people realize that they're there. Anyone in the church, any church today, is part of a, is part of um, the occult unknowingly right so jesus himself the real person didn't have any denomination and it says so in the bible right so if you're part of a denomination i think you need to leave whether that's catholic mormonism scientology and i know they make it very difficult for you but you're doing the right thing if you do you need to seek salvation in truth which is you're here for a reason we're all here for a reason but the truth is the thing that will set humanity free. Do we want in the future clones to have rights, right? To, for this nonsense to continue outright, the you know, for these evil, wicked spirits in high places to get away with centuries of lies, right? Satanists and and educate us with nothing but lies, for starters. For then, lucid for then the, those people that know the truth in the know the luciferians to use that truth to fucking convince us of a completely different perception of reality it's insane you know the concept of duality within the the, the masonic belief system and it goes back into ancient times and and there's nothing new under the sun so this ha what's happening today has happened before do you understand so we're in the time of the building of babylon 
the one world culture of sin and our countries that accept L teaching LGBT to three year olds is part of the problem they don't understand that they're, that they're trying to make them go against creation to them to not even know they've got a soul Okay. So why Shroud of Turin's secrets continue to elude science? Millions of Christians, you know, believe it's the garment of Christ. Okay. But if you actually go and look at the dates of this, right? That kind of puts everything out of, of what we believed anyway to be, you know historical perspective Lee out this is a medieval you know when did when did Christ walk the earth well when Rome was around and was Rome around in medieval times hmm that could make you think right it should I've said what I've had to say about this piece. It's a real piece which was create which was created. Whether it's the blood of Christ though is a different uh answer, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, lots of people probably died in the past and got covered up, right? Could be anyone. Not as I just as I said earlier, um, and th this is this is history.com by the way, and the last one was National Geographic. So this is mainstream viewpoints. Shroud of Turin isn't Jesus's burial cloth, claims forensic study. So a lot of people uh, won't even question. The ethics of human cloning right when it comes to it really if say for example everything I've said up to now is true that that guy is telling the truth and that he is a clone of Christ from the shroud uh, from this shroud and millions of people believe it and that the Pope said that he wants to do he wants to play his part right Do you see where this is going? Whether it's real or not, it doesn't matter. Right? That's the play. In my opinion. You can read a lot about this stuff. Like I said, there's loads of studies and it cut and it's always two sides to the story and you've got to read between the lines, you know what I mean? Because the people in the academics know but they they got a way of writing things <laughs> and if you know how they do it, it, it things become more self-evident because they have to leave like hints truth and lies with numbers or words certain sayings or certain things that don't make sense but you just move on from move on because you just i don't know you know shroud of turin is, is a fake bloodstain suggest so what is it? You know, is it real? Is it a real medieval uh, piece of cloth? Absolutely. Is the bloodstains real? I would say so. Are they the bloodstains of Christ? If they are, right? It means Christ was around in the fifteen hundred in in the medieval times, and we've been lied to. Right? Think about it. If they're not. It still doesn't matter because how they've got this image on the on the to print on this fabric proves they had electricity in the past. Now you might ask me what how it does, and I cannot remember for the life of me what it was that spe specifically showed that this was a print. 
However, it was written at the top of one of these articles about it. Wait. No, it wasn't this one. Was it this one? Because I was trying to say, for the love of God, back at all. Should always highlight things. Basically, it said something about printing and photography. It doesn't matter. I'll stand on my point. That Rome might have been in the 1500s if this is Christ, right? And if this is genuine. What do you think? Too far fetched? We'll, we'll carry on. We'll see what else we got. It's going to get real. It's, it's all real. Everything I'm trying to say to you is, is real, okay? Wake Forest researchers create microscopic model of the human body. Research the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicines. It's always for medicine, right? You know, health, for health reasons. They're going to benefit humanity using technologies. No. If you haven't noticed, since we started using technologies, I think things have got worse. But people would argue, you know, it wouldn't. We the world wouldn't be the world, the hell, without it. And I, I agree. But it's how it's being used, you know, against us. So this is about bio, bio, fabricating using three D printing. Okay. Marie is the first life-sized 3D printed human body. Now again, it's cut in colour, it's not, you know, it's just a piece of art, right? But I've already showed you patents for soul transfer and literally the face of a clone speaking about cloning, you know? I think it's a no-brainer in my mind. So 3D printed humans. So I showed you, I, I showed you, I did a video about the Great Milk connection and how that relates to cloning. We see it in Westworld, we see it in Ghost in the Shell, we see it in a lot of programming today. Not only that, but celebrities having milk baths, pouring milk on them in, themselves in the videos. It's, right? It's, 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 it's part of their rituals and part of them showing us the truth in plain sight that they are clones many music videos of, of pe people today show themselves as clones and but you need to read understand how to read artistic interpret uh, interpretation yeah you know and there's codes and there's language within videos and symbols It's all things which is part of the great uh, awakening which is happening today. The third will fall, it says. So we got a lot, we got a while to go before a lot of people wake up. But I think of events transpiring now are going to lead up to that, you know, where a lot of people. I'm going to refuse, but it's going to cost blood, right? We are the sacrifice next. The people that want to stand against these wicked spirits in high places, right? What is bioprinting? Understanding the science behind bio life 4D. 
again you can read it about growing organisms and 3d printing what have we been done what have we been doing you know what most people are sleeping they don't look at aft they don't look at what's coming out at all just watch the telly deep voice software can clone anyone's voice with just three point seconds of audio You get prominent position in society. You're a good person. You get killed. Your good image gets tainted by them. And you start doing bad shit. That's how it seems to roll. They hate the truth. These demons. I've been doing... The last two days I've been doing battle with them. And... <laughs> the truth, the, the all I hear is groaning when I speak it. You know, they don't like it whatsoever. I cast them away. I'm just showing you that the technology is there. If you research their devices, you would understand that this is about emulation. You know, it's about emulation and total control of technology so that you everyone comes dependent upon the global economic system which they're trying to build and that means they want to kill everything so they can use robot bees and and this is to do with the black goop pro pro programmable matter right which is the part of the trillion sensor vision which is nanotechnologies being spread across the earth through geoengineering Every single one of us has got sensors in us right now. All we need is the chip and we can, and well, the mark for one, but we also need the mark uh, in our head, so to speak, the chip in their head, for us to fully be, you know, let's say connected to the internet of all things, yeah? But when we do this, when we connect to the world, we lose our soul. Right? The mark of the beast. We lose our soul. What's it worth? It's not. It's not worth it. So soul transfer's real. You can only... You are an immortal intelligent energy spirit, really. With free will. Even after death. And... Because your spiritual body is not your physical body. But your mind is a supercomputer that allows you to, you know, uh, take in information to process. Like I, <laughs> I've been doing for a long time. Human brain cloud interface. As I said, my girlfriend had a dream and she saw humanity chipped up and they were getting updated like and everyone was just stood still and they were they, you know, they did a little jerky movement and then off they went again all in their little hive mind busy little bees tell, do, doing what the AI is tell, telling them to do I'm not kidding you and this is all about um, human brain and cloud interfacing technologies right did you not hear what Boris Johnson said? No one can escape Google. Right? It's, it's that bad, folks. We have to stand. We all have to stand. And I'm not going to get into the article because you, you have to do your own research. And if you really, if, you're, if you want to know it more, you, please, by all means, just find the link in the description and read. I've done enough reading to know what's real. So, where am I? There. Start, this is two years old as well. Startup wants to upload your brain to the cloud, but it has to kill you to do it. Right? Nectome, I 
efforts to preserve grey matter through vitrification, ex fixation, process tested on rabbits, but doesn't have a method for uploading brains yet. But it's all about Obama, brain initiative, you know? It's all about corporations trying to control humanity and how they're all connected to the Catholic Church and their secret societies. This is an agenda that's centuries in the making. Centuries. But it's okay. This is what we're here to do. We're here to expose the the, the lies, to to show the truth, to not fear evil, and to use hopefully the truth when time comes, right? When all is said and done, when the when they want their phoenix to rise from the ashes of this destruction of the civilization a new civilization will rise from it instead one built on truth and a foundation right based on facts cornerstones that's what we're doing the trillion sensor economy is i've already showed these things before this thing anyway the trillion sensor vision and this is about, as I just said, about spreading nanotechnology across the earth, nano cloud, dust, particles, which we've all been breathing in, as well as the, you know, um, barium and aluminium and other things. No wonder we're all dying. One in two people getting cancer today. But don't worry, technologies will save the economy in the day, in the end of the day after they deliberately destroyed this one. Even though it's based on nothing but corruption, you know, the oil based economy, which is based on war, right, for profit and slavery. Oh, again, I'll let you read it. Uh, I'm not feeling up to that. Just trying to warn you that all these things are connected from and includes what's going and how this relates to what's going on around you right now with the COVID mem COVID op 19 operation. So a successful artificial brain has been created. Right. So I'm just saying that the, the things that are being shown to us by these articles are, are actually developed technologies and patented by the military a while back, which is actually being drip fed into civilization through, let's say, corrupt organizations and institutions, right? Figureheads today like Elon Musk, you know, Bill Gates, George Soros, and there's others, right? Demonic soul transfer technique. Now many celebrities themselves say they sold their soul for fame and fortune to the devil right why don't people listen and hear it and, and actually understand it when they say these things why do they people think it's a joke it's not a joke right they all do the same symbols and in my mind, they're tortured, uh, they're tortured souls, tormented souls, and they're just puppets for a higher force, right? That's manipulating them for them to want fame and fortune in the first place. 
some of these celebs can't be can't be helped because they're born into the same they're born into it right i mean it's a sick world we live in today and it's all because people don't really understand what's real and what's not demons do exist you know exorcisms are real possession is real demons can kill they can make you commit suicide they can make you kill other people all real yet you go to cinema and get scared to death right in the, uh, of a film let's say the exorcist that's based on reality right most people don't comprehend they just go there because they want to be scared they, they're frightened and they want to they want to be jumped they want to oh that make, made me jump you know rather than actually comprehending what they're seeing on it which is the the fact that there are forces in this world which can't be seen the invisible enemy as trump says that are manipulating humanity and those people are the principalities they are the rulers who believe they've been ordained by god to rule this earth forever right as they see fit while they go against god and want to live forever in this in this realm this is nowhere near over absolutely nowhere near over it's only just begun the war the great awakening is well it's happening fast and people are waking up fast they have to They've got to see this this covid operation as what it is a prelude to the coming of the mark of the beast one which we all must refuse to gather no matter the color of your skin if you believe you have a soul this is something we all should be doing so COVID-19 and the mark of the beast so this is an academic article basically saying that there's no don't really worry about what the Bible says you know like there's no evidence that that this this has to do with the, the coming of the mark of the beast but he fails to mention anything to do with right watch <laughs> buying and selling where's the comments straight up tangible to be able to buy and sell didn't even mention it right so it, it, it has to do absolutely with what's going on right now. And good people are on the streets protesting. There are also people that are manipulated on the streets protesting. Next time you walk past the sign and it says something that you might not agree with, do some research. Find out what's in vaccines. Find out that the effects of fluoride on, on the human body. Find out the effects of bromide, which is in the bread, on the human body. Find out that they're today they're undoubtedly a global geoengineering program to control and manipulate the weather, essentially, for our destruction. The earth can never be a globe. It's time we all realise that there's there is a common enemy. And these people, these spirits, they've used us, they've now emulated us, so that they can they no longer need us. They can get their clone demon army in if once the gates fully open and all hell could break loose right not only that 
if you have chipped humanity and it controlled by an AI, which is also trying to, let's say we're connected to the United Nations, bring peace to the world, the rest of humanity's got a target on his back for refusing the mark by the United Nations who took the mark. Do you understand? That those people that sign up for the United Nations doctrine are the same people that are going to take the chip, that are the same people that are going to be all right for the LGBT community, that don't see that they're not a slave, economic slave, that they, are, that they think they're, they're all for equality, right? And sustain and a sustainable future. No, they don't care about us. They want your soul, and they want to control every, everything. It's time to wake up. It's time to spread the truth. Jesus is a clone. Please share, like, and subscribe. I just saw an orb come straight from the mic. Till next time.